if you're a busy executive in the corporate world with clients and customers and partners and teams to manage and a senior leadership team to report to, and you are ambitious, driven, and you want to keep rising to that next level, I have a question for you. Is it possible that you may be neglecting the one thing that is going to ensure your long-term sustainable success and not even be aware of it? I'll ask you that question in a minute. Hi there, I'm Farnoosh Brock. Welcome to the Mindset Mastery Channel. In these videos, I talk to you about how you can shift your mindset in order to become more successful. And I was inspired to do this video because I work with a lot of executives and in my work with a particular one, it became so clear that this one area, which is such a huge one, was a disadvantage for this particular executive because he was not even aware that he was neglecting it. So here's the question. How well are you taking care of yourself? Beyond the surface stuff, which is eating, sleeping, spending some time with your family, what else are you doing to ensure that you are in a healthy place in your mind, that you are calm, grounded, and centered, not just as a leader, but also as an individual? Because here is what happens to busy executives in corporate America or corporate Europe, Australia, other places. It's that we live in such a fast-paced world that you feel you need to run even faster in order to catch up, in order to impress your bosses and your customers, in order to qualify for that next level of leadership. And here is the irony. The leaders who rise, not just to mediocre levels, but the leaders who run companies and communities, leaders who have impact on a global scale, are calm, grounded, centered people. Their groundedness and their center, centeredness, if that is a word, comes from their personal practice of taking care of themselves, particularly in a mental way, in that they have a practice, a grounding practice, whether that be meditation, prayer, whether that be quiet time, reading, walking, an exercise that helps you go into that meditative state where you are able to have that quiet time and make sure you're not constantly responding to stress, but that you're actually coming from a place of uh, uh, compassion, understanding, patience, listening, and not being rushed all the time, not feeling impatient, not being in such a hurry to get to that next thing. And that's the irony. When you slow down, you get ahead. Because here is the thing. Being in a hurry, being in a place of lack, and constantly wanting that next level of success, of advancement, whatever it may be, is not attractive because it's all about you. Now, when you take care of yourself as a person, when you spend even 10 minutes a day taking care of your mental space, your mental well-being, your calmness, your groundedness, who you are, what you are about, why you are doing what you're doing, and when you feel confident about all of that, you become a true leader. You become an attractive source of energy. You become the kind of person people want to come to. Stressed people want to come to you to find that peace of mind, that guidance that a leader is supposed to provide. And you cannot possibly do that from a place of stress. You need to move from a place of stress and anxiety and constantly rushing to a place of calmness, groundedness, and centeredness. And that can be your secret competitive advantage to true success. And all you have to do to achieve that is to create a practice that works for you, a daily grounding practice. In fact, I have a video just on that topic that I will link to below, but when you are able to craft this 
five minute, 10 minute practice, whatever can help you achieve that place of peace and centeredness in a daily basis, then you are able to come from a different place, lead from a different place, be a different kind of influencer, listener, communicator, and you might be surprised just how attractive your upper management, your senior leadership will find that to be. So slow down, take care of yourself. Slowing down in this fast business corporate environment will help you get ahead. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the future videos and I wish you all the best. I hope that you craft that grounding practice, that you make time for it because this is true investment in your future as a successful leader. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.